Chance is cost, no doubt. Spectres are attacking the fort. Look to me. Living nor dead. Name's Red McCraith. I'm obviously a banisher. Open the door there. I've business within. Your business is, if you'll excuse my articulating the evidence, not my business. I have my orders. You can't come in. I hear you, friend. What's your name? My name's Andrew White. You seem a pleasant fellow. I like a Scot, me, but standing here, I'm on duty. And when I'm on duty, I'm not your friend. Uh, listen, mate, folk in here have problems enough, and I can't be disobeying orders. Either priests or Pennington would have my guts, and I fancy neither. Pennington knows me. He'll know I can help. I'm sure he does. But put one dead man down and three come back next day. Round here, sweet victory fast turns bitter. Bottom line is, the captain is indisposed, and I'll not add your complications to the pile. Now, you want to lend a hand? Mrs. Priest and her party are overdue. You can't miss the outpost. It looks out across the valley. If you could find her, and make sure she doesn't die, you'd surely gain her favor. And favor, as they say, opens doors. Get in a fight and find your boss and dig her out whatever hole she's in. All right. I can do that. They have spectre troubles. Let's first clear the nearby nest to relieve the fort, then deal with the missing. How holds the fort? How holds the fort? Precariously, that's how. Our strength dwindles, and we'll soon run out of powder. Priest took Williams and that other fella, and off they went, scavenging for supplies. They've not yet returned. It's dangerous out there. The scavenger may easily become the carrion. Heard any good scuttle lately? The dead are coming. And you want to gossip? <laughs> I admire your sang Freud, and that's the Lord's truth. But now, sir, is not the time. Heard any good Scott? The dead are. Right. I'll likely be back. Find our friends, Banisher. Or put them to rest. I'll try. As soon as I take care of the Spectre's nest, I'll go looking for the outpost. Death knocks at their gates. No wonder they won't open. They don't have a choice. Another attack may overrun them. The nest might be near. There's a trail to follow in the snow. More coming. 
Come and get your breakfast, boys. Three island kiss for you. You're in its sights, Red. The fort will run out of powder. These pests don't spring from nowhere. They never learn, do they? Move it! That's it. That's the place. Fill in the hole. Bury them all. I should buy the fort a little time. Let's hope it's not too late for the famous Mrs. Priest. Looks like you're walking. Looks like. I wonder how many there are in the fort. If you were by the day, I'll wager. Still, better to be inside than out. for help if you need it. Is 
awash with specters. Did the foraging party really come this way? That would explain why they haven't returned. Impressive. There's a way through. I can take care of it. Something's nearby. Where is it?
Who's that? Yes. Something's here. Something's concealed. Survivor, come. This one's not been dead long. Mm, let's hope he stays that way.
According to our map, the treasure can't be far. This is locked from the other side. Looks like they were taken by surprise. I think this area is similar to the map's instructions. Think you could take on a ghost? This isn't over yet. Hurry! She's being overrun! Come on! I think this area is similar to the map's instructions. Must be where the treasure is hidden.
According to the map, the treasure should be near. Look to me. Who's that? Yes. Something's here.
It won't do. Something's here. Hidden. remains call for a ritual and a lot of caution. Show your shape in flesh! Another insight. Let's get back up. Standing by.
My bolt is shot! Behind you! A timely arrival. You'll be Haskell's banishers. Thank you. Thank you both. You can see me. Clear as day, just as I can see. This is my husband. I am Helen Priest. And Thea Duarte. This is my partner, Red McGraith. It is rare that the living can see the lingering dead. All I know is one day I woke after seven long years of grief, and my Sebastian was back. It was as if my prayers had at last been answered. That was enough for me. In times of danger, I am duty-bound to protect the woman I love. You understand? What was it like for you? After my own death, I floated outside of time without knowing what was happening to me. Floating? Outside of time. Yes. That's exactly it. True love finds a way. That's all that matters. We found the rest of your men outside. They're gone. I'm sorry. We were overrun. I sent Matthews and Williams with the supplies to race for the hoist. This was a risky expedition. But Helen had no choice. If the survivors were to rely on Pennington alone, the fort would have already fallen. I suspect that's so. Sometimes difficult choices must be made. That's courage. All the courage in the world will be worthless if those in command won't match it. Pennington did this while monsters relentless besieged the fort. But make no mistake, these men's deaths are on the captain's conscience. If he has one. How so? Seven years ago, a plague came to New Eden. Pennington quarantined the sick in the mines, walled them up. They were dark times. Hard times. None knew what the morrow would bring. We all lost much. Too much. A second in command, Sebastian volunteered to stay. Walled in with the others, he held out the longest. He died a hero. And now the Forsaken are rising. They demand revenge. Who would blame me? I watched them die. Soldiers and miners, sick and hungry, begging for help they knew would never come. Captain Pennington has much blood on his hands. I'm sorry. You've been through a lot. We have. We are, and will persist till we prevail. We should get back to the fort. We will escort you. A 
Banisher marched with my father's infantry. Good for morale, he said. Soldiers usually carry their ghosts with them. War is good for our business. I take it that's how you might know a soldier as you fight. I never worked for the army, but something like that. Sympathies. All of this for two miserable powder boxes. How low has Pennington brought us? If you didn't like him, why did you follow him? I followed his reputation, but he's no longer the same man. What would you do in his place? I'm doing it. He sits behind his walls waiting for them to fall, and I'm out here fighting to live. We're fighting for our lives. The captain is in the way. These internal conflicts are a risk for the stability of the fort. A necessary risk for the survival of all. But I agree. This must end. You may leave the crates. I'll send someone back for them. Yeah, the path should be quiet. We cleared the area of the Spectre's nest. Well, that's a relief. Follow me. For. Open the gates! Go talk to Pennington. Make him understand, if you can. Where can I find him? He hides in his office. You'll find him there. Where are the others? Williams and the other chap? Matthew, we were ambushed. They fell. God have mercy on their souls. There's a lock. I'm gonna need a key.
Storeroom. Locked. Greetings. Welcome to Ingersoll's General Store. I'm Bathsheba Ingersoll, the owner. What can I get you? A comb, perhaps? A comb. Very funny. Red McCraith, I'm pleased to meet you. I met your friend, Miss Duarte, briefly in New Eden Town. I'm so sorry for your loss. She seemed a vibrant and resolute young woman. And she seemed eager to leave town as quickly as possible. Shall we trade? I rather think we should, sir. What interests you? Tell me about your store. Tell me about you. The original Ingersoll's in Boston was grand and fine, but it burned in the North Square fire of 91. We moved to New Eden with Nathaniel, but before Natty could return home, my husband died. Then came the curse, and now here we are. Welcome to Ingersoll's of Fort Jericho. You never wanted to do anything else. My husband was prosperous and affluent. I was young and clever. We made an excellent match. He taught me everything I know. The store is my business. My legacy. My story. It is who I am. I don't like running a store. I love it. The shopkeeper must hear everything that goes on. Tell me something interesting. Just between us. 
You assume me to be a gossip monger? What do you wish to know? What can you tell me about Captain Pennington? He lets me trade. I like the man. He says Ingersoll's store is good for the fort. I very much agree. What can you tell me about Helen Priest? I like her. Though she's impetuous. Terse, even. She fancies herself a leader when she should know her place. And that place is below the captain. Thinking about it? No. I don't think I do like her. But more generally, how fares Fort Jericho? Well, it's cold. Folk are hungry more often than not. I've little to tell you you won't hear from someone else. But Ingersoll's is open, so all is well with me. I must take my leave. And may God go with you. No Ferdinando here. Good day, sir. Nathaniel Sather, at your service. What can I do for you? That Mr. Sather remains to be seen. Red McCraith, by the way, the banisher. You seem a chatty fella. We see precious few new faces around here. <laughs> You'll forgive me if I use you for fresh conversation. Tell me about yourself. Share your business. Tell me what's important to you. I'm from Boston. I love it very much. So much more lively. A fine mix of conviviality and anonymity. I miss that life. The music. The colour and the splendour. The dance of commerce. The flower sellers forget-me-nots. Oh, the forget-me-nots. I very much wish to go home. What are you doing here, then? I'm the shop boy. When the store moves, I move with it. Old man Ingersoll opened up a general store in Boston back in 78. Then he married Bathsheba. I came with them to New Eden, intending to quickly return. But Mr. Ingersoll died. I extended my stay. It took me on when I was just a boy. I have no family. All I have is my Thomas, my closest friend. You have, as my granny would say, the power to talk the back legs off a two-footed donkey. But I bet you listen, too. What do you hear here about? Uh, little of interest. Pennington has signed John Rumble to the train band, which means nothing at all to me. I believe John was down the flooded mine. That can't have been fun. Maybe the militia will be good for him. Huh? You never know who'll take to soldiering. You say that, and I defer to your experience, but I'm sure it's not for me. What can you tell me about Captain Pennington? The captain? I've not a single bad word to say about that dismally antiquated, superannuated old man. His depth of experience is inspiring. Although I shudder to think what those experiences have done to him. But we should respect our elders. We should listen to their point of view. And then ignore it as we look to the future. What do you think of Helen Priest, then? I'd put her in charge if I could. She's bright, trustworthy, thinks for herself. She's not married to all doctrine. People here are desperate. They're sick. They need courage. And Helen Priest fears nothing. More generally, how fares Fort Jericho? It's cold. Our clothes are inelegant, the walls are drab. There's no music, no conviviality. There's no gaiety. Boston isn't much of a city, but I miss it. I wonder what I could make of this place were I allowed. You can paint a turnip red, but it still won't be an apple. 
True, but stack enough red painted turnips about the place and even the dowry Scotsman shall surely crack a smile. I must go. Thank you for your time. And I for yours. Take care. Good day to you, miss. Miss? I'm the hunter Flora Abbott, and I never miss. You? It is rare, but I... I've been known to miss. Red McCraith, Banisher. I heard about you when you first arrived. Is your friend not with you? She died. She's with me in spirit. Sad to hear it. I have nothing cleverer than that to say. If you need anything, well, I probably can't help. So you hunt for the fort? Are you part of the train ban? I serve, in my way. Before the curse, I traded with the people of New Eden. Meat and fur bartered for whatever they had that I needed. How did you end up in New Eden? You won't mind me saying that you're not like most people here. And yet, I'm a New Englander. Born on a farm not far from Boston, but always preferred the wild. So I came to New Eden. In time, I came to love it. It's cursed, and I'm still here, aren't I? What do you know? Tell me about your day to day. If I did, would you listen? Talk to me of Captain Pennington. I've worked for worse. I'm able, and I give him no trouble. In return, he makes sure I get none. He respects me. That makes him an excellent judge of character. Don't you think? What can you tell me about Helen Priest? Not my favorite person, if I'm honest, but in the fight against the debt, she's an asset. How are you yourself? I do my work and do it well, though few notice. I'll take my leave of you, Flora. I'll not stop you. Oh. Store. Fernando's? Closed. Are we in the right place? Try next door. Anyone home? No one. Papers in Miller's name. We're in the right place. Keep looking. What is this? A sansa. It's a musical instrument. It's Bantu from Southern Africa.
Fonte reads English extensively. Well, nobody's perfect. He's organized. Disorganized traders lose money. He's making protective amulets. He's making useless trinkets. And he works hard to keep it away. Maybe she tried to harm him. Let's search the store. Surprisingly high quality wares. Can't be many left in New Eden with the means to buy. He was doing surprisingly well for himself. Where did he get the inventory? Rebecca's will. She was rich. She left him the lot. That's where he got the inventory. No. The list matches his sales record. Touch my money and I'll drop you. What are you doing here? Thieving, no doubt. I'm no thief, Mr. Miller. I'm the Banisher. I brought Helen Priest back to the fort. A Banisher? Thieves lie. How do you know my name? It is my business to know. Red McCraith. If you are a banisher of ghosts, I have business for you. I'll pay. I spoke to Rebecca. Tis she who haunts you. She sent me to find you. She worries for you. Says she loves you. The English have a word for that. Hogshite. Where was she lying? You inherited her estate. Whichever. It matters not. You're a banisher. It is your job to get rid of her. Can you not just do your work? Easy, Mr. Miller. Now, I'll need to examine Rebecca's belongings. I sold them. All of them. You did? To who? I don't know. People. I wrote it down in the register. Read it, if you wish. Two recent sales to the blacksmith and to Ingersoll's store. Well, stuff looks good. Let's trade. Now, my friend, we are conversing. A storekeeper hears much. What do you hear, Mr. Miller? I'm a busy man. If you've a question to ask, then ask it. What can you tell me about Captain Pennington? He has no problem with me. I have no problem with him. He respected Rebecca's wishes. He gave me what was mine. My freedom. Her estate. He saw me as a man and signed the papers to say so. And when them who saw different complained, he laid down the law. What think you of Helen Priest? I don't think of Helen Priest. I stay out of her way. I hope she'll stay out of mine. How are things in the fort, by your estimation? Look around you. Things are desperate. 
Have you heard the sound of their bodies crashing against the wood? I am a man of courage. I have endured much. But this, it undoes me. I don't know what you people have done to this country, but there's little hope and no way out. You've put quite the effort into protecting your home, haven't you? You poked about my house without my say-so. I know my business. So out of generosity, here's the truth. None of it works. Not the wreath, not the amulet. None of it works. Pretty, though. His brooch is working. It works. She hasn't come back. I can sleep now. I hear her calling, whispering my name. I wait to find her at my bedside. Our eyes meet. She stares. She won't leave me alone. She's an Akishi, a demon. Banish her. I'll pay you. I need a job. I accept. Farewell to you, Mr. Miller, sir. You know where to find me. If you're buying, I'm selling. He'd sold it all, everything she'd owned, and fast. Why the hurry? If we track her things down, perhaps they'll tell us. Let's see. Ferdinando was a slave. She was his owner. She kept that quiet. As if it were of no consequence. We know where to go. The barrack room. Pretty. The work, I mean. We know where to go. The barrack room. Will. Then that's what we're looking for. A ghost left a fragment of their past here.
I only recognize my name in the list. Distant family, but I can't disinherit them. I would never ask you that. To have met you is already more than I ever expected. If I was to lose you, God forbid, I cherish all that reminds me of you. If you were to lose me, all that I own would now be yours. He claimed not to love her. Why lie? Maybe he didn't lie. Maybe he pretended to love her. Let's see what he has to say about it. Punisher? I found papers. Official papers. They tell quite the story. That's all in the past. For the good of my future. But you may as well hear it from me. As she lay dying, Rebecca Hargrave gave me my freedom. Before that, I was her slave. How very romantic. If it weren't for the captain, the good people of New Eden would have let me die, too. Rebecca was in love with you. The feeling was not mutual. True. I was her pet. A dog nuzzling its master, hoping she might loosen its leash. She loved me, she said. I allowed her to think I loved her back. I sat up and begged and let her pet me. I was a very good boy. You gulled her, then took advantage. To a slave, a crumb of freedom tastes like a loaf. You'd have done no different. And I'd do the same again. Enough chitter-chatter. Perhaps you should get back to work. What am I paying you for? I'm a banisher, Mr. Miller. Not a rat catcher. Ghosts were human. They're emotional. Full of hopes and fears about the past and the future, too. To find out what ties the ghost to the living and end the haunting, I must know the story. You want me to finish the job? Then the story must be told. The ghost must manifest. I do not like this idea. This idea can shit itself six times by sundown. Come on, break the brooch and let's get it over with. No choice remains. Let it be done, and I'll be done with it! Marty, you're here at last! Step no closer! I... I don't understand. Are you not glad to see me? Now, Punisher, end this! Not now. You need to hear the truth, both of you. That reminds me. Rebecca, you omitted to tell us that Ferdinando was your slave. That you owned him. I loved him. I was a slave. I was not free to leave. You've... What kind of love is that? What are you saying? We loved each other. Love? <gasps> no. I told my master what she wanted to hear. I gulled her with a lie. I thought you a fool. But no, you believed me because you wanted to. Yet you didn't believe me, did you? Not entirely. That's why you never freed me. I loved you, and you loved me. It was but a piece of paper. A piece of paper and a guarantee. I needed a guarantee. You don't know what love is. 
You know only fear. You fear being undesired, being unnoticed, being alone. How very human of you, Mistress Hargrave, but hardly an excuse to own a man. Time to give this love story an ending. Ferdinando Miller, the world forced you into a lie. You lived it to the full, and in the end it brought a haunting upon you. You are the tie that holds this ghost here. No! Leave him be! She's a ghost. Get rid of her. Wait. No. No. You can't take me. You don't own me. I am a free man. I have done nothing wrong. No. But I have. To hell with it. Your world is no place for men like me. You don't understand. You can't understand. I chose to cheat. You chose to kill. Which of us, Banisher, deserves death? Captain Pennington. No time, no way out, no hope, no way in. No time, no time at all. Captain Pennington, sir. Mr. McRaith, you live. There's work to be done. Work? You had work, a mission. To bring one last glimmer of hope, to gladden our hearts before the pit takes us all. You secretive bastards haven't helped. The job is done. There's no more hope and little enough time. All that remains is the pit. Welcome to the last stand, McGrath. Welcome to the end. I wouldn't surrender just yet, Captain. I found Helen Priest. We brought supplies. A waste of effort on both accounts. Hardly. 
We saved a life. Resupplied, you may save more. For the sake of what? For the sake of days? A week, perhaps? You've saved no one. You've prolonged the terror. The dead will come. Our throats will feel their bony fingers soon enough. The end is inevitable. It is if you will not act. You're the officer. Take command. Surely you can't intend to do nothing. You sound like priests. She has changed. Her return to Fort Jericho has made her impulsive, irrational, quarrelsome. I believe she did not fully grieve her husband's loss. Returning to the scene has, it seems, reopened the wound. It festers. She'll join the lieutenant soon enough. When our defences crumble at the last, the pit shall take us all. Fair to say your tactical retreat from New Eden Town has not served you. The town was doomed to fall to the curse. We disagreed on everything. There was nothing left to do but leave. We did not know there'd be no escape. No Smith gathered the board and the governor let the affair flock to him. We never agreed on anything in the first place. I crossed paths with the new Smith party. Thick skin did not make it. Shame. She had a proper head on her shoulders. Without her, the band will suffer. As the commanding officer, you must know all the local lumps and bumps. The lumps and bumps can smooth themselves. I have other priorities. Why did you come to New Eden, Captain? Why here? Far from the many wars we fight, you mean? I'd shot enough Frenchmen and more than enough Indians. Did no one come with you? Keep to your business, son, not mine. It's just... There's a portrait hanging on the wall. A family. I had a wife and daughter once. Once. I'll not entertain you with their story. Tell me more about yourself and your career. I did my duty and had the fortune to return alive. That's all. We who are intimate with war tell no tales. I thought that too. I was wrong. Silence allowed my ghosts to prosper. It is good to tell our stories. If ever I do tell, I'll not be telling you, son. How do things stand, Captain, as you see them? Uh, little has changed. The dead flood from the mines. We shoot them down and gain respite. Soon, the onslaught begins anew. The clock of our extinction ticks on towards the hour. We may no more defeat the dead than we may vanquish the ocean waves. You must at least try. We lack much, yet we are still alive. How is that, do you think? We owe to the last. We resist, till retribution rises from the pit and drags us all to hell. Well, that's something worth waiting for. I fail to see the appeal of this slow agony. How unfortunate. Because thanks to you and the time you bought us, the agony will be all the slower. Permission to take my leave, Captain. And if I refuse it? Are you trying to recruit me, Captain? Do you really think I'd take the King's shilling? If I were to offer enough shillings, I'm sure of it. I need no new lieutenants. But if you wish, you may stay. This key unlocks the unused watchtower. You'll bill it while you're here. One hand, a captain beaten by the world. On the other, his rival, haunted and mutinous. In a fort besieged by vengeful spectres. 
behind all the shit, there's something else. Something darker. Could be worse. Could be underground. Banishes. May I have a word? Helen, something wrong? Apologies for disturbing your rest. I'm afraid it can't wait. What did you think of the captain? I saw an officer alone. A proud man turned to stone, perhaps, by years of war. I saw a broken man. I did not see the tyrant you described. Inaction is tyranny. He will not act, but nor will he get the hell out of the way. I do not disagree, but the captain needs help. I too was a soldier, broken and haunted. With Anthea's help, I recovered. Pennington may need the same. Leave Pennington to me. The good folk of the fort need your help. You are banishers. The dead, you'll have noticed, hammer at the gates. I would like you to go into the mines and find out what enrages them so. I would like you to do what the captain will not. And while we deal with the hordes of angry spectres, what shall you be doing? When the mines are purged, I'll oust Pennington. How goes it with Sebastian? I'm not sure. I had never let go of my grief. I was bereft. Empty. His absence gave me substance. I clung to it. Useless, really. My husband died in the dark with nothing but my handkerchief to soothe his last moments. And now, he's back. If each worthwhile thing in life is to be lived and then when it is gone, to be grieved, then what now? 
I have to believe our love is enough. Love is all grief can hang. <laughs> and yet I cannot hold him. I cannot feel his warmth. He is there, but he is not there. That hurts. All things are fleeting. Gaze upon the ghost you love and you can't deny it. Bitter though the thought may be. Yes, tis a blessing and a curse. Yet against all reason, we persist. Let us make the most of time remaining. Is it your belief that Pennington's quarantine lies at the heart of the problem here? That this is why the dead rage so? What else? He walled them in. Miners, nurses, soldiers, the healthy or the sick, he buried them all. And then he lied about it. I'll brook his callous cowardice no more. Much goes on around here, and you seem to know about all of it. I try, and I could do something about it if the captain was out of the way. What brought you to New Eden? I came with Sebastian, willingly, mind you. My father was a soldier. I knew there'd be travel. Sebastian courted me for three years. I swore when we married I'd follow him to the end of the earth. And here we are. How's morale about the fort? The fort has known better days. Not many, mind. It's always been miserable. Folk deserve better. They fought so hard and lost so much. The captain must show them a future. Where do we go? There is a second tunnel into the mines. The entryway was walled shut during the quarantine. Getting there will not be easy. But the barricade should fall without too much difficulty. After that, who knows? Underground again. Wonderful. If it soothes you, I too am taking a significant risk. The captain has a penchant for locking people up and leaving them to rot. Some years ago in New Eden Town, the captain locked up an innocent woman. A fate I wish to avoid. We should go. Then it's agreed. When you're ready, you'll investigate the mines. Take the hoist to the waterfall, near the outpost you first found me. From there, it is not far to the tunnel. Keep your wits and all your luck about you. An innocent woman jailed. It's barbaric. An officer must be just, or else it all unravels. Helen is right. The truth lies down there, somewhere. This is no coincidence. This all connects back to the curse. 